Alright guys, real quick. The Tops Dicer 3 and the Tops Street Scapel 2 are currently up against each other in the vote voting on the bracket that it Tops has going on for blade lengths up to 3.99 inches, I believe it is, in their model lineups. For me in that category, hands down the Dicer 3. The S35 VM blade, G10 handles, those rounded scales and handles on there, they just fit comfortably. There's no hot spots. You've got enough sculpting that you get a good solid grip. The S35 VM takes a good edge, holds that edge well. It's pretty strong. The grind angle on it lends itself to being, being a good solid edge. This is my EDC. Has been now for... Oh gosh, I don't know, probably March, April, and quite frankly, I don't see anything replacing that. I did add the grooves in the handles. That's not factory. They are smooth from the factory. There is no jimping from the factory, nor is there this squared off part on the spine up here, but I love this knife. I carry it just about every day, other than for occasional when I'm trying out a new one, but I always come back to this, and it's always in my bag to rotate to if I need to but I like it so much I actually had a custom holster, custom sheath made for it um, just carries real well very comfortable knife the Street Scapel 2 is a solid knife also in its own right but to me it is more of a lightweight carry lightweight duty knife I did EDC this for a while but I was always worried because of how thin this blade edge is up here towards the tip that it would break pretty easy. I don't abuse my knives, but they do get used to cut through heavy rubber and plastic. And occasionally when you're making a cut through, it'll last a little bit will go. And if, if you're not careful, if there's concrete or metal or something underneath of it, you'll cut right through and smack that when it breaks through. Um, so I was always worried about the tip, but I like that it is lightweight. It's pretty compact, but you still get a full full comfortable grip on it and realistically the blade length on it while it might look a little short is about average of what most people are going to pretty well use throughout the day my dicer three even though it's a little bit longer blade probably about this much here doesn't actually get used and is always sharp it's up here at the tip in this area here that gets the most use so when you compare the two, that's pretty well what you've got there. It's a little hard to do at this angle. But that's a rundown. If you've not voted, go vote. Dicer 3 hands down gets my pick. I know this is a well-received knife, but I think for a day-to-day, in-and-out, all-around knife, Dicer 3 hands down every time compared to every model in that class. I think it's very overlooked being that it is marketed as their kitchen pairing knife. Um, do pre be prepared though that because it is a kitchen knife it does not come with any type of sheath it just has a little kydex blade cover but that's minor but quick comparison of those two dicer three every time so y'all have a good one